but it's been a hectic week i had to really pull myself out to actually sit down and make these videos which i'm really grateful for because it reminds me of what it is that i am doing so picture book course um uh, we're on week five yes uh <laughs> I listened to all the course content, I made notes, it was really good. Um, as usual, I cannot tell you about the details of the task because of intellectual property, but this is what I've done. Um, just a lot of brainstorming this week, but we're gonna have to just like keep on going, keep on trying things out. And then the week ramped up. In the past video, 8th of May, 2023, I posted this video mentioning that I've only got like a handful of creative people that I know. Come to think of it, I don't actually know any illustrators like at all in my life. So eight days later after this video, I stumbled um, upon Amsterdam's sketch breakfast on Instagram and I was instantaneously inspired. I, I wish there was like something like that in Manchester. So I reached out to them and I was like, can I, can I do something like this in Manchester? Um, and they just told me to go for it. Um, I think maybe the timing wasn't right for me then it was like a moment where I didn't really know what my routine looks like um, I was starting these accountability journals on YouTube um, start the find your freak flag course like find your creative voice by the good ship illustration it was a time where I was also just developing my own creative practice. So I didn't act on it straight away. Fast forward four months later, I started to think about streaming co-working sessions again on Twitch. Um, but my camera isn't working. My computer keeps on crashing. The technical stuff is making me feel a little bit awkward. So then I just got like this, ah, oh, right. Let me just reach out to a couple of illustrators um, to see whether they'd like to meet and sketch in a cafe. Really casual, didn't really think anything of it. And um, a few of them actually managed to make it. So yay. Peter at Peter Pat on Instagram, who I've only met once. They have a store in the art market and I, I absolutely love their work. Like, oh, it's just so cute and so just sweet. The other illustrator I met is Amber from Draw It U on Instagram, who I've never met before, never spoke to before. They responded about a meeting in real life on the Good Ship Illustration Picture Book course student only Facebook group. I know it's a long one, okay. They, they like their, their long titles. Um, and just to note as well, Good Ship Illustration and I, we're, we're not affiliated. I am literally <laughs> just going through their course and it's what my world is about at the moment. There's a lot of like really good foundations that has been created from Good Ship. Like, yeah. I won't go into like fangirling mode right now. During this meetup, I spoke about how I wanted to start something like Sketch and Breakfast in Amsterdam and the illustrators, they, they were just as excited as me. Hearing some of the things from like similar minded people, showing support and encouragement kind of gives that extra energy and spark. Don't get me wrong, I really do miss streaming, but meeting people in real life like there's just there's a particular energy and vibe that is just so nice when you're just in the same room i think it's the body language like it's unconsciously you can just feel the body language does that make sense so yeah i feel like that meeting really just gave me that final woohoo go 
just go for it. And as soon as I got back home, I took the leap. I started to set things up for the meeting. I created the Instagram um, and about page, the illustration for the posts. Um, started thinking about like how things could look like um, on the Instagram page. How would I uh, manage the bookings? I didn't want to be limited to just breakfast. Uh, and plus I'm more like, a brunch girl so I tried uh, to find sketch and cafe on Instagram and Eureka it was available <laughs> uh, the next day I started to set up Eventbrite um, I met up with a venue that I had in mind and luckily I also bumped into uh, the boss and we had a chat booked the table and I started to set up the tickets so on today three I released the event to see who wants to join posted information on Instagram and make sure that everything kind of makes sense across the platform and I keep on finding things now to be honest like I'm constantly fiddling around with it but by the evening like half of the seats were booked and by day four I started to like share some of the information across some of the Facebook groups that I was part of and then the rest of the seats got booked up so now I'm in contact with the venue to add more seats and I started a waiting list um, on Eventbrite so yeah I'm just really happy to see that there are others who are just as excited as me um, about just like chilling together and sketching in a cafe it just goes to show like the power of meeting similar minded people, what type of energy it sparks and you might just need just that little, you can do it. Here we are. <laughs> if you're ever like close by Manchester or if you're visiting Manchester, um, I'd love to meet you so come and, come and join us. The club is called Sketch and Cafe uh, and we chat, eat, and sketch in different cafes all around Manchester. I do have one rule for these events and that is no negative comparing. Leave the overthinking and the judgment like aside. I really want these events to be a place of joy, fun, just you know be yourself like no one's gonna be judging you about how you draw. It's not a competition. Um, no one is going to be the best at whatever. It's a pure hangout, casual hangout. If you're interested, I will put the link in the description below and hopefully meet you soon. Okay, so um, that's all the positives, but there are actually some negatives that comes with this, which I need to find a way to kind of rebalance myself so the first is um i'm not eating properly because i'm just in the flow and i'm energized and i want to get things done i'm excited um i forget about food which is really bad for my health talking about health the next thing is i'm actually not waking early enough instead i'm working towards into the night uh, where again it's like a quiet slot um, so I can just concentrate on doing things um, which means that I'm actually not going to the gym uh, which again is not good for my health because I'm literally just like in the studio like sat down all day and the third thing not good for my health is doom scrolling I feel that um, being on social media starting to post like my um, diary entries on Instagram it's made me like I hate to say it but there is a bit of a oh has anybody like seen it or um, what's the engagement like um, and even more so now with sketching cafe I, I actually don't like that feeling that's not where my values lie like it's not in the likes but it's more in the engagement for sure like I'm after is just real and honest relationships um, human to human making real friends uh, making meaningful work and just like growing my own creative uh, skills and the fourth thing is making sure that I do get back into my creative practice 
that is what I set out to do in the first place. Um, so the last couple of days again, I have not been doing my daily sketching in my visual journal. So I'm going to get back onto that, catch up. And also, very important, need to experiment, play, experiment, play. I went to a charity shop, by the way. Let's quickly show you a haul, because I'm really, really excited about these things. Aladdin and the Magic Lamp, 20p. Which I can look at, look at that. Look at the pop-up, oh my god. But wait, there's more. <laughs> It actually goes all the way around and there's like a little tie over here. There's a little hanging over here. What? Tell me, how is this 20p? Like what? I'm gonna treasure this. I really love the illustration of this book. There's just something really chill and calming about it. I only noticed this when I got back home, but front to back, read back to front. They actually meet in the middle, paper baking set. I checked the contents in here, £1.50, feels good. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just really excited to give this a go. I have been itching to try this craft out. When? I don't know, but I really want to give it a go. And then the finale. <laughs> Do you remember that image that I illustrated? Like The character that I drew a couple of weeks ago? This one. What is the coincidence? Like, how cool is that? I need to try and find a way to like maybe add a tail and then probably make some tongs for her. Like, is it is that what you call it? Like a little headband thing? I actually spoke about it in my journal. And yes, £1.95. And so with that being said, my little one has just woken up. Um, I hope you're doing well. And um, yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next one, hopefully. Goodbye. Uh-oh.